Introducing Mike Gates, Assistant Principal, Linden High School. Welcome to the Virtual Senior Honors Recognition and Announcement of the Local Scholarship Winners. Celebrating the Class of 2020. My name is Mike Gates and I'm the Assistant Principal at the High School. I would like to thank the scholarship and award donors for their efforts collecting, reviewing, and selecting the winners through a virtual format. This has been nothing short of amazing. I thank each and every scholarship donor for investing their time and dedicating their efforts on behalf of the class of 2020. Your commitment and investment in our students is greatly appreciated. These scholarships total over $50,000. I would also like to give thanks to a few groups that sometimes go unnoticed and underappreciated. On behalf of Linden High School, I would like to thank the parents and all those that have helped guide your sons, daughters, nieces, nephews, grandsons, and granddaughters of this year's graduating class. Also, to the staff, teachers, and coaches that have dedicated countless hours to these students' success, thank you. Congratulations to each of you on your accomplishments thus far for overcoming this sudden change. For some of you, your time here at Linden High School has gone by quickly. For others, it may have seemed like an eternity. For some, graduation was inevitable, while others were sweating out their last class and turning in an assignment through Google Classroom on the last day. But no matter how you got to this moment, you all have one thing in common. You have all earned the privilege to be called high school graduates. Moving forward after graduation, you all have a fresh start and a clean canvas to paint whatever picture you wish for your future. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You're a special group. Thank you for making my second year in Linden so memorable. Before we start the presentation of the unannounced local scholarships, I would like to introduce the next speaker, your salutatorian, Quinn Arnold. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for watching. I wasn't sure what I was going to say when I heard I had to make a speech for a virtual graduation. To be honest, I procrastinated writing it like everything else in high school. I thought I'd keep things short, but I'm sure you can probably just skip through this if you get bored. First of all, I'd like to say a thank you to all the great teachers and staff that have helped me throughout high school. I'd also like to thank all my friends for their love and support. People always say high school flies by, but I never thought it would go by this quickly. I remember our first week of high school like it was yesterday. Making new friends, our first homecomings, proms, games, all feel so recent. I don't think anyone would have imagined we'd be finishing high school with a virtual graduation. We never expected our senior year would be caught off by a global pandemic or that we would walk six feet apart outside for our graduation. It was definitely weird having a last day without knowing it or Zoom calls for classes the rest of the year, even though most of us skipped them. I know it's very easy to get frustrated about not having a normal life right now, but on a brighter side, things will go back to normal eventually. I know driving by friends' houses for their birthdays, Netflix, TikTok, and Chloe Ting have been keeping me going. This year has taught me, and I'm sure all of us, to not take things for granted and to live in the moment because you never know when life will change. I'm so grateful and glad I got to spend these past four years with all of you. Go Eagles and go Blue. Our next speaker, Sherry Luck, Vice President, Linden Community Schools Board of Education. Hello, Linden High School Class of 2020. Students, parents, friends, and family. My name is Sherry Luck, and I am the Vice President of the Linden School Board. Graduates, it is my honor to address you today as you complete this important milestone and embark on the next chapter of your lives. Certainly, this is not how any of us expected to be celebrating you and paying tribute to all of your accomplishments. Regardless of format, the results are still the same. You've done it. You have finished all the classes, taken all of the exams, written all the papers, read all the books, completed the countless assignments, and put your best foot forward to make it here today. Your efforts have paid off. 
We know you have had good times and made some amazing memories over the course of your K-12 academic experience. But I am here to tell you the real fun and work is just beginning. Regardless of what your personal goals are and what path you are taking from here, you will need to work hard to persist through obstacles, have an open mindset to allow yourself the ability to keep learning and growing, and keep your eyes wide open to see all of the opportunities that you can experience along the way. Your future is bright. During uncertain times, it may be harder to feel the excitement and fully recognize the opportunities that lie ahead of you. You will soon be moving forward with the next steps of your journey. You will soon be able to see how the world is open for you to explore and leave your legacy. You will soon begin to recognize how your outcomes are directly related to your efforts. You will catalog all of your grade school, middle school, and high school experiences and memories, including those that may have been missed due to a global pandemic. All of this has begun to shape your future. All of this has set a foundation for your successes. And yet all of this is only just the beginning of your story. The class of 2020 is resilient. The class of 2020 is tenacious. The class of 2020 is historic. Your children and your grandchildren will learn about the happenings of the year 2020 for decades to come. For what each of you have lost, both collectively and individually, all of this has been gained. Linden Community Schools and the Board of Education is proud of each and every one of you. We know that you will carry on to do great things, things that will make your families and your communities proud, things that are not even part of your plan right now. Please accept my heartfelt congratulations and warmest wishes for each of you. Eagle Class of 2020, it is now time to spread your wings and fly. Have a wonderful summer and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Fenton Regional Chamber of Commerce, one $2,000 scholarship. Winner, Sheridan Goss. Linden Little League, Tig Holcomb Scholarship, two $250 scholarships. The first winner, Avery Cohn. The second winner, Cooper Walicki. The Helen Gilbert Memorial Scholarship. There will be two $1,000 scholarships. The first recipient, Hannah Lapham. The second winner, Rachel Pudney. The Greater Flint Bowling Proprietors Association Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The winner, Caitlin Rice. The Linden High School Casual Dress Scholarship. There will be three winners of a $500 scholarship. The first winner, Nathan Katzenberger. The next recipient, Carly Miller. And the final recipient, Maria Miller. The Hyatt Elementary Casual Dress Scholarship, two $250 scholarships. The first winner, Allison Bush. 
The second winner, Jessica Schmidt. The Administration Office Scholarship. Two $250 scholarships. The first winner, Maria Miller. The second winner, Bryant Sin. The Hope Lutheran Church Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The winner, Hannah Lapham. The Linden Education Association Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. The recipient, Rachel Pudney. The Mary Hike Scholarship. There'll be three $1,000 scholarships. The first recipient, Sheridan Goss. The second recipient, Paige Harden. And the final recipient, Ashton Fowler. The Linden Music Booster Scholarship, one $500 scholarship. The winner, Molly O'Toole. The Kiwanis Scholarship, there will be three $1,500 scholarships. The first winner, Grant Maxheimer. The second winner, Sheridan Goss. And the final winner, Duncan Jocks. The Service Above Self Award from the Rotary Club of Fenton won $1,000 scholarship. The recipient, Allison Bush. The Bill Hall Award. The recipient, Tyler Buchanan. The Jennifer LaRock Memorial Scholarship. One $1,000 scholarship. The recipient, Elizabeth Springsteen. The Van Gilder Family Scholarship, two $2,500 scholarships. The first recipient, Liza Kirkey. The second recipient, Avery Cohn. Lacey Catherine Kerner Memorial Scholarship. There'll be two $1,000 scholarships. The first winner, Emma Draper. The second recipient, Sheridan Goss. The Order of Eastern Star, Linden Chapter 175. The recipient, Brianna Wishman. The Thomas Richards Memorial Scholarship, one $1,000 scholarship. The winner, Austin Anderson. The State Bank Scholarship, one $500 scholarship. The winner, Hannah Wabel. The Blood Drive Scholarship. One $500 scholarship. 
presented to Hannah Lapham. The Blood Drive Scholarship won $250 scholarship. And that winner is Rachel Pudney. The Dale Cudworth Memorial Scholarship won $500 scholarship. The winner, Lauren Hall. The Linden Robotics. There will be three $250 scholarships. The first recipient, Zach Shelton. The second recipient, Noah Duramity. And the final recipient, Molly O'Toole. Central Elementary Believers, Achievers, and Tomorrow Leaders Scholarship One $500 non-renewable scholarship. The recipient, Allison Bush. The Linden Athletic Boosters Scholarship. Two $500 scholarships. The first winner, Liza Kirky. The second winner, Ryan Gillespie. The Manor Scholarship. One $1,000 scholarship. The winner is Colby Comesher. The William F. Close Memorial Scholarship. There will be two scholarships, each totaling $10,000. The first winner, Katie Stricker. The second recipient, Lania Whitbro. Introducing Grant Maxheimer, Linden High School Student Council President. Hi everyone, my name is Grant Maxheimer and I'm the class of 2020 Student Council President. I want to begin my unconventional speech by thanking a few people. I want to start by thanking the Linden High School staff to every teacher, custodian, administrator, and coach, and anyone else who touched our lives in some way, thank you. Each of you has had an impact on students, many of you going unnoticed. I could spend my whole speech talking about the impact the Linden staff has had on me, but I won't because each of you knows how incredible you are. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for the English department, but every one of you truly cares about your students and just wants what's best for them. To my parents and family, hi mom, I know you're already crying. If you know me, you know that I've grown up living next door and across the street to most of my family and my best friend. I have been blessed to grow up with such an amazing support system around me. My aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents were always there to support me. My parents have always been the most influential people in my life, and they've always taught me that no dream is ever too big to always work hard, be humble, and give back. I wouldn't be where I am without my family and friends, and I'm excited to give you all a hug when this is all over. I will let my friends Izzy, Hannah, and Quinn reflect on the amazing four years we've had at Linden, but I want to use my speech to offer some advice. Dr. George, if you're watching, ignore this cliche, but whether we like it or not, we are the generation that's going to change the world. Our world is plagued with economic uncertainty, a climate crisis, racial injustice, war, and poverty. We can look at these issues and feel hopeless, or we can take on these issues and many more head on. We should feel blessed that we're in an incredible position to promote change. This may sound daunting or scary, but fear is great. My favorite quote, everything you want in life is on the other side of fear, is so important to each of you right now. Some of you may be heading to college, the military, trade school, or straight into the workforce. Every single one of these paths is scary. Good. You should embrace it. As a society, we are more afraid of succeeding than we are of failing because with success comes a whole new world of uncertainty and fear. Embrace what scares you. Embrace what makes you unique. I promise it will do more good for you. 
We are the first class born after 9-11, so it only seems fitting that you're watching me at home in the midst of a global pandemic. This isn't the first time we've been knocked down, and it definitely won't be the last. We're the first generation who no longer takes our edu education for granted. The world is forever changed, but the exciting part is we get to choose how to rebuild it. Lastly, I have to do my civic duty and remind you all that it is an election year. Get out and vote. Use your voice for good. We're so blessed to live in a country that celebrates different opinions and beliefs. Disagreement is the cornerstone of democracy. Embrace it. I will leave you all with this. You're going to be knocked down. You will be ignored. You will fail. Learn from it. Grow from it. I believe all of life's greatest moments come when you step outside of your comfort zone. I'm so proud of all of you, and I know Mr. Cargill and Mrs. Brooks are too. Whether you graduated top of the class, thought about dropping out, or somewhere in the middle, congrats, you've made it.